We are coming to you live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, and the A-listers are out tonight. You can feel the electricity in the air. Feel it? There's an electrical storm. Look, a boat just took out their mascot. Lightning blasts all over the place, Grim. This is dangerous. And danger is what this league is all about, Bricks. And the fans, they're loving it. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Cincinnati Bengals take on the Los Scandalous Bolts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, okay, so I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Hogan, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Mistake there, throw. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And the defense jumps off sides trying to mutilate the QB. Now, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What the fuck the fuck the fuck? And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your... Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First and two. that no one can score in this league without showboating. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. One's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. They've 
call this happen. Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he first... Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that these red lights talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. <laughs> First down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down in a mile. They'll be washing bloody footprints off the defense's jerseys after a run like that. Third down and, well, good luck. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to, yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog thing, snags. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. for the first down. Second down and seven. He caught it, and nothing was going to 
to stop him from getting into the end zone. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down and eight. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, with a punishing hit. Third down and long. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First down and six. And the QB decides to throw the ball away. Second down and six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a kick in the wind. to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. No matter anything really tastes good. Second down and nine. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Yeah, man, I was here on the now. You know what <laughs> Third down in forever. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. You know, no, you know. Second down and a lot. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. And 
and it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight uh, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run First and ten. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Second down and ten. Picks up about six on the play. Third and four. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. And that is called for a first down. Second down and five. shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> straight through the uprights here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them he sets up for the return let's see if he can break one wide open First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and ten. Yeah. 
We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Ugh, looks like a pee for me, too. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And he just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. down and the punter is warming up. That's a big game run on that. They usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a concrete. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, with the brutal hit. And that's the end of the second quarter. Some of them will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Hey, man, I was huge on schedule now. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Two. 
Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast again. And Link breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He took him all the way! Second down and more. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Hopefully the next guy learns or we're going to have a pile of dead refs. Second down in a mile. Rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Third down and nine. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and look. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and long. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third down and, well, good luck. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. And he just slipped away like a grease. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spiral. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First down and three. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second and three. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown.
don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Shave a few days off his life. Second down and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and ten. showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. First and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit! Second down and five. That's a four yard gain. And that'll 
bring up third and one. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL. He's got the distance, and the kick is gone. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Friends was an all pro MFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. And the defense better look out. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He's hit the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Nice pickup for six yards. Third down and eight. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Is going to be explosive this week. He meant it literally. Second down.
second down and ten. Some steam, a gain of seven there. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Man, what a hit that was. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it! And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Second down and more than the QB would like. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay wing. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're hitting. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Second down, and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down, first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, with the brain scrambler. And they're going to have to sell. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the team refuses to quit. They stay alive with four new downs. And it's first. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. He'll 
be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Receiver makes a grab for five yards. And the Los Cabos Bulls take the win today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How is it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Down I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.